Hi everyone and welcome back to my new video. Today I want to look at just one brand which is Burberry. I absolutely love Burberry and it is a new makeup discovery for me um, last year, so 2020. For the first time I've tried Burberry makeup and I have accumulated a couple of bits, so enough to make a full face of makeup and I thought it would be really fun to just try out all the different things together and just see how Burberry makeup works. So yeah, I have a couple of things here, which oh, let me try uh, to show you. As you can see, some of them are still in their packaging, which means it is a first impression for me. I haven't tried everything yet. Um, I was lucky enough to get a few bits uh, for Christmas, so I saved them for this video and I wanted to try them together with you. So I quickly show you the products that I have. So the first product I got this year um, from Burberry and I've ever tried out from Burberry makeup is a eyeshadow quad. I have tried this, um, oh, I've used this in my previous video as well, so I'm gonna link it up here for you if you wanna see me applying it. Um, that was in my 2020 favorites because I absolutely love this eyeshadow palette. It comes in this little uh, velvet pouch and it even has its own um, little brushes. They are very small but I have to say they're quite high quality so I do like them. And then the quad comes in the silver packaging, it feels really luxurious um, and then you open it up and you have uh, this eyeshadow quad inside so that is in the color nude blush and then you have a little mirror in here as well and then you have this magnetic um, packaging which it feels so nice and luxurious it's quite heavy and um, yeah so it's it is a luxurious brand so you are paying for the packaging as well and then the second product I have um, I got this for Christmas let's stick with um, all the eye products first um, I got this for Christmas I haven't tried it yet I've opened it but I haven't tried it so that's something we can try together um, it is in the color 305 antique blue so it is a single eyeshadow again the same packaging um, magnetic nice really luxurious and then it comes with a tiny brush again which um, is like a spongy applicator and then in this, it has this dark blue, um, it is this dark blue color, really pretty. I think that could be really cool for like an eyeliner or just like a smoky blue eye. So I'm really excited to try that. And then the next product for eyes, it is uh, the Cat Eyeliner, but it has an eyeliner on one side. So you have like the black liner on one side. And then on the other side, you get this um, kind of like spongy eyeshadow stick. So it is an eyeshadow and you can blend it out as well. So what you can create with that is like a smoky wing. So you can uh, make a wing with the uh, eyeshadow first and then you go over top, over the top with the eyeliner. I have tried this one out already. Again, I'm going to link the video up here. I did it for my New Year's uh, look. But um, yeah, I've just tried it once and I really liked it. I can already tell you that. And then moving on for eyes as well. I haven't tried that yet. And that is the Burberry Cat Lashes. So it is in mascara. Oh, and sorry, the previous one I've just showed you was in the color Jet Black number 01. And then the mascara, again, packaging absolutely gorgeous. It is really heavy. It feels super luxurious, like every single product here. And I haven't tried that yet. It's this plastic applicator, which are my favorite applicators. That's in the color Ultra Black. So I'm very excited to try this out. And then what else do we have? I'm not gonna lie. That is, I think, my favorite product out of all of them. That is the um, Essentials Glow Palette for sculpting, blushing and highlighting. So it is in this beautiful, this time it's gold, it's the first product that we have in a gold color or the only product I have. Um, again, super luxurious. Um, it is this huge palette that has a contour, a um, kind of a contour or depending on your skin color highlighter. It has two blushes and two highlighters here. I've already tried that and I have to say it is absolutely gorgeous. It's performing really, really nicely on your skin, but we'll try it together in a minute. Oh, and that is in the color 
um, zero one fair to light medium. And then the final product we have is a lip product. And this is a lipstick I already got um, last year as well. Um, I think around, what was it, summer. Um, it is this lipstick and it is in the color Burberry Kisses Classic Red. So it is like, as it says, it is a classic red color. And yeah, it's beautiful. Again, packaging has this mag magnetic, uh, this magnet to it, so it's really cool. Um, so yeah, those are all the products we work with. As you could see, there is nothing for my um, skin or eyebrows. I've already done my skin, I quickly do my eyebrows and then I'll be right back and then we can try everything together. Let's start with the face, so the face uh, palette. Um, I'm gonna use the concealer, uh, concealer? The um, contour bronzer shade, kind of a two-in-one I would say first. And I'm gonna use this color, uh, this brush here, which is the Lux Highlighter Brush from Soeva. And I could already tell with the face product, uh, the face palette here, that it is a bit more of a lighter um, application. So you don't get a lot of product straight away on your skin, kind of like Burberry. They have like a very natural feeling to it, a very natural look. So it's not an over the top uh, face palette, but it does build up quite nicely. So that is it applied. It applied really nicely, like you have to go in a couple of times to build it up, but I actually prefer building up my product rather than it being super strong straight away. So, so far, I think it applied really nicely. No patchiness or anything. So that is that. Uh, let's move on to the blush. So the blushes, we have like a darker and a lighter one. That is the lighter one, and that is the darker one, so it has. Um, a glow to it already so that's something I could tell with the palette that it's very glowy so if you like glowy skin then that's definitely for you it kind of reminded me of the um, hourglass palettes uh, the ambient light powder or something like that so it kind of reminded me of that like it gives this natural glow but still looking quite um, subtle in the same way so it's like this natural feeling to it so I go in with the darker color first and again it's a product you have to build up, so it gives you a light wash of color, but if you want to have more, you can apply more. So that is the blush applied. Very pretty. And then moving on to the highlighters, which are my absolute favorite. I think those are one of the prettiest highlighters I've ever applied and tried. Um, I'm gonna swatch them for you, so I have the uh, lighter color on the top and then the other one on the bottom. I would say the lighter color is more of a white. So there's the lighter color on the top and then it's kind of like a champagne rose color on the bottom. And they are so stunning and they stay on all day. I really like them. Um, I'm gonna take, let's try like one like fan brush first and see how they apply with a fan brush. I'm gonna go into the champagne color. Mm. It does apply something, but not very intensely. Oh, can you see that? And that's just a really, really light color, um, really light layer applied, and it's already giving me this beautiful glow. But just to try it out for the video, I want to try a bit more of an intense application. So I'm going to use um, this brush here from Real Techniques, which is actually the setting brush, but I think it works quite well with highlighters as well. So I dip in. So it's again a product you can build up. And that's what I like about this palette is that you can go with a very subtle everyday look, but you can also build it up if you want it more intense. So that is the highlighter. I really, really love it. And yeah. I think I'll leave it at that. Moving on to the eyes, um, I'm not gonna use this palette today because I've just used it in my recent video, but I'm gonna quickly swatch the colors for you so you have an idea of how they look like. So those are the colors swatched. They are really nice everyday shades, but again, I think it's a palette that you can build up if you want to. Um, it is super easy to blend, quite easy to work with. So um, yeah, if you wanna invest in 
a bit of a more luxurious brand and you looked at those ones and you're not sure I can tell you they are performing very well um, but I can also tell you if you want to find something similar in the drugstore you will find something in the drugstore with these colors but I would say let's move on to some different eye products I want to try the blue shade because I haven't tried it yet um, let me swatch it first oh, they're really but oh my god oh wow that is intense <laughs> okay let me see so that is the color applied very intense but really cool it's kind of like a teal blue color so it has a bit of a green hint to it and um yeah i would say what should we do with it okay i just thought about what eye look i want to create i said i'm not going to use the purple shades today in the other quad but i've re i've decided i'm going to use them and combine them with the blue i've just applied uh, some eyeshadow base to give the colors the best chance to stick on my eye i'm going to apply this purple color here, this matte purple, and put it into my crease. Let me zoom in a bit. Here we go. So I'm gonna put the purple color quite high into my crease. And I love how they blend. Really, really nice. And now for the blue, I'm gonna use a brush that's a bit more dense and like a flat brush. And I'm gonna go into the blue. Oh god, that's a lot, a lot of color coming out of the pan. So be, be a bit careful with that. And I'm gonna apply it into the outer corner of my lid. I can definitely tell already it is a lot of product going on, but I don't see any fallout. But so far, so good. Um, I'm gonna apply a tiny bit into the inner corner as well, but I'm gonna leave the middle out like slightly connect them on the top I really like this color I normally always be a bit careful with blues and blue eyes but because it's such a dark blue I think it does work I'm gonna put a bit more on Let's see how we can build it up so that is how it looks so far um, I think it's really cool I really like this color and um, I quickly applied on the other eye as well now I'm gonna take a fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna blend the color carefully together but I don't want to drag it along too much just like the edges a little bit I think it also blends really nicely I might go into the purple a bit again and bring it up into the crease to blend it into the blue It's very intense and I'm also just thinking of the red lipstick that needs to go on I'm gonna look very crazy today <laughs> but oh well um, and yeah moving on uh, I want to apply this light pinky shade here and go into the center of my eye and I'm literally just gonna use my finger for that I think it looks cool but the pink doesn't pop as much as I would like it to so I'm gonna change plans a little bit and I'm gonna use a bit of concealer on the center of my eye. I'm gonna use a tiny bit of concealer on the center of my eye and then I'm gonna use a flat brush again and blend it in a little bit. It doesn't matter that I've already applied it because it blends out on the sides really nicely which helps later blending the color again. You see the color comes out much better now and now I just need to blend it into the sides a bit more so I've reapplied it a couple of times reapplied the blue reapplied the pink the purple blended everything in together I'm kind of happy with it the way it is now I just wetted a q-tip and I'm gonna run it on the sides a bit so I want to get rid of some of the color but can we just talk about that there is zero fallout like there's absolutely no fallout of the colors and I think that's really cool um, especially for like an intense purple shade um, uh, intense blue shade and now I'm gonna take the blue again and I run it on my lower lash line
again I felt I feel like I went a bit too low with the color here so I'm gonna remove some of it again and finally I'm gonna apply some of the light color champagne color under my eyebrows and a little bit on the inner corner as well And now I'm going to use a white eyeliner. I know it's not from Burberry, but I think it helps the look to tie in a bit better and um, run it in my lower waterline. So that is that. Oh my god, it's really intense. I would normally not go for such an intense look, but I quite like it to be honest. Um, and next, what we're going to do next, uh, the eyeliner. So as I said, there is a brush, um, a little eyeshadow stick on the other side which looks like this um, super simple to use um, if you want to create a smoky wing liner but I'm not going to use it for this look because there is just no space for color anymore um, I'm just going to use the eyeliner and I'm going to go all the way into my inner corner and drag it out so I'm quickly going to do that not off camera but I'm not going to talk because I can't concentrate and do an eyeliner at the same time that doesn't work <laughs> And on the outer corner, I'm kind of use try to follow this edge that I've created beforehand. And I can already tell from using it that it does not budge in like smudge smudge, <laughs> that it does not smudge anywhere, and it stays on all day. So it is a really good and fine eyeliner. So I have another one from L'Oreal, which I mentioned in my previous video, and it's very thick. So that one is more of a thin one. So if you want to create a really really thin and precise line, you can definitely create that with this one. And that is the eyeliner applied. I ever so slightly brought it into the inner corner as well and then like created a little V but I stopped like here. Um, you think I think you wouldn't really see it later because I'm gonna apply mascara on the bottom eyelashes but I kind of feel like it gives it this really cool cat eye look. Um, so yeah that is the liner applied. It took me like 30 seconds maybe so it was quite easy to apply. What I like is that it doesn't bleed so when you apply it I hate when eyeliners bleed but this one just you can create like really thin and thick and it just stays basically where you put it so really really nice i really like it it definitely gets a thumbs up from me um i'll quickly jump on the other eye do that off camera and i'll be right back so i've just applied the eyeliner and so far what i can tell about all the products i've used i really love every single one so final step is mascara i'm very excited for that because i haven't used the mascara before i'm quickly gonna curl my lashes and then i would say let's try it okay here we go We can already tell it's this kind of mascara, you know, when you like get a new mascara and it's really wet and then after a while it is a bit dried out. It feels like it's one of those mascaras that's been used for a while already and it's dried out, which I really like because I like my mascaras the best when they're dried out. It feels like the more I use it on my eyelashes, the more volume it gives as well. Um, it does, I wouldn't say it's the most intense mascara. And it's probably a bit hard to see now as of all the dark colors on my eye. Um, but yeah, it's not the most intense mascara. But let's try and build it up a bit in a second once it's dry. So that is one layer applied. I really like it. It reminds me a lot of the Volume Million Lashes one when it's uh, used a little bit. So it's not as wet, uh, which I really like. Um, I'm very happy with the results. But let's try a second coat and see how it works, if it clumps up. Oh well, yeah, it gives a lot of thickness then. But it doesn't really clump, so I don't see any clumps here. It just gives volume. Two layers on this eye and one layer on this eye. I think it's a pretty good mascara. My god. Um, let's see how it performs during the day. I'm gonna let you know down in the information box um, if it uh, smudged. Because that sometimes happens to me that it starts smudging. But so far... I really like it. I have to say, Burberry does not disappoint me. Um, every single product is just beautiful. So, final step is the lipstick. Um, it is red, cherry dark red. I would, no, it's not cherry red, it's dark red. It absolutely does not go with my look today, but never mind. We're gonna try it anyway because I want to show you how the product performs. Um, it is a very uh, glossy kind of lipstick, I would say. So that is it applied. I'm going to apply it from the bullet first and I'm going to blend it in with my finger a little bit. So you can apply it quite dark. 
we blend it out. My god, that look does that does not work. I'm gonna take that off in a minute again. But yeah, let's let let's ignore the eyes and just look at the lipstick. Yeah, the lipstick does perform really nicely if you blend it in as you just saw. Um it is an average lipstick, I would say. You find very, something very similar in the drugstore as well. So I would say that's one of the products I wouldn't run out and buy from Burberry, but it does look very nice and it does look very glamorous as well. Um, so I am happy with it. I am using it, but I keep in mind that it does smudge a little bit. So that is the lipstick. I'm gonna take that off straight away again because it looks hideous. Um, but yeah, th those were all the products I had. It was a pretty long video, so thanks for sticking around if you're still here. And let me know if you have any favorites from Burberry that I should look into or if you think of buying anything. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And other than that, I hope you have a good day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.